Hi there, welcome back. Today is the first day of our bowler thrifting adventures. We are on our way to Alberta to Wendell's annual family reunion. And of course, we are gonna stop at every thrift store and antique shop that we can find along the way. And then after the reunion, we are going to head to probably Banff and Calgary and check out as many thrift stores in Calgary as we can and do a little bit of touring and camping through Banff area. So that is our plan. So we are making a quick stop here in Harris, Saskatchewan, and then we are heading to Rosetown. That is our first stop. And they have a really small little thrift shop there. They also have an antique shop as well. So I'm not sure if we're going to check out the antique shop. We're definitely gonna to go to the little thrift shop because I really wanna to get to Kindersley before their Salvation Army closes and they also have a really cute little antique shop there with lots of mid-century modern glass and kitsch. So I really want to go there before they close. So that is our plan today. I'm not sure if you're going to see all of those places in this video, but those will be some of the places that you will see coming up. So we're going to definitely go to Rosetown and check out their cute little thrift shop. We are going to go all the way back to their little hard goods section. See if we can find any treasures. I'm already seeing some. Cute little spaghetti poodle. Fortunately, he is cracked. That is too bad. It's only a dollar. It's got a big crack. Those are resin. This looks like a cute little planter, possibly McCoy. It's one dollar. Don't see any chips or cracks. So we will pick this cutie up. What is this? Some sort of a shaker. It's cute, it's plastic. I have to be a little bit picky because we are traveling and I only have so much room and we are going to stop in a lot of places so I've got to be a tiny bit picky. I thought maybe this might have been an Artisania Rinconata but it is not. little jar made in China. Prices here are amazing. That is a made in China piece. See a cute little girl here. She is made in China. It's pretty sweet. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know what this is. It's plastic. 
It's a little bit wonky. You want to make it unwonky? <laughs> Do you know what it is? I'm just trying to figure out what it is. A lamp. Like yeah, it's just it's oh. yeah, this this is the switch here. When you set it down, it turns this on, I would suspect. Oh, okay. Like the yeah, there's a little bulb in there. Interesting. Yes. Like a little Aladdin lamp, I guess, hey? Yes, I think likely. It's got a chip on it. Some candle holders in here. Those are plastic. That's very cute. 50 cents. You can see the light through the holes. That's fun. Another little jar. This one's made in China. That is a signed piece. It looks like possibly a raku. really light. doesn't have a lot of weight to it. Here's some wood salt and pepper shakers. Very mid-century modern style. I'm not sure if they are teak or not. Yeah. Okay. Well, the wife and I have three. Pretty fun. I think I'll pick these up for two dollars. Here's some Fire King mugs. Rosetown, 1911 to 1961. Rosetown Jubilee. There's two of them. They're only 50 cents. They're pretty specific, but for 50 cents, we will grab these. They're in really nice condition. And who knows, maybe there's someone out there who remembers the Rosetown Jubilee. There's an owl. Is that a trinket box? Candle holder maybe? It's got holes in the top. A ceramic made in Japan. And it is five dollars. Mm. Well, it's super cute. I don't know if I want to spend $5 on it, though. I think I will pass. It is her first stop, and if that was a dollar or two, I would definitely grab it, but I think I'll leave it for five. Some vintage Tupperware. A little bit rough shape. There's some more. The lid doesn't match. This looks like made in Japan. That's cute. It's 
some pretty interesting upcycled mugs. <laughs> I think they are made out of beer bottles. The bottom is the top. And then they've got these copper handles. Very interesting. That's pretty scratched up. I just pulled this piece off the top shelf. Looks like possibly Viking glass. It's a candle holder. It's one dollar, so I'm gonna pick it up. I'm almost positive it's Viking glass. I could be wrong, but for one dollar, we'll take a chance. Over in their linen section, and I spotted this piece. I think it is a tablecloth. It's almost got a cruel texture to it. Feels like wool. So it is three dollars, sixty-eight by fifty. I'm gonna open it up and make sure that it is in good condition. And if it is, I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Let's, let's open it up right now and check it out. So I wasn't able to completely open it up because it is attached here with this price tag. There is, I see a little bit of a stain here and here. But other than that, it looks like it's in really nice condition. So I might be able to get the stain out. There's a little one here as well. So for $3, I'll take a chance. Oh, we got some mugs. And I don't need any mugs. Well, I grabbed a couple Fire King mugs, so I'm good for mugs right now. Some creamer and sugars and butter dishes. Glassware. I'm going to stay away from that unless I find something amazing. These are really nice smoked glass. And they're only 35 cents each, but I am not going to pick those up. There are Libby glasses and I did just buy eight shorter ones but i don't know i don't know if i really want to travel with these right now <laughs> but they're only 35 cents oh my goodness glasses for 35 cents i'm gonna think about those they're definitely something that i could find pretty easily back home so cute. Some salt and pepper shakers. That's pretty cute. Bella Casa Gans by Gans. There's a little chip there though. These are really nice. Wood salt and pepper shakers. I really like the brass plate on them, but unfortunately, there is a chip on this one. They're only 50 cents, but really nice. It's too bad there's a chip on this one. It's a pretty big one. Rivets, Grand Canyon, 2006. Ooh, that's a really pretty retro recipe book. 50 cents. Let's see if there's any recipes in it. I don't think so. Pick that up. 
come over in there. I've got picture frames, CDs, hair appliances, and craft stuff here. Here's a latch hook. Still in the original box. Has not been opened, so would definitely have all the pieces for two dollars. I will pick that up for sure. I also see well there is a cruel here. It's just oh I'm confused. Someone do the cruel and these are just the extra pieces? <laughs> I think so. I think we'll leave that one. But I am curious about this. Looks like a vintage Christmas box. Some vintage stockings. <laughs> These were originally $9.99 at Zeller's and they are $1. I don't know if they're both in there. I don't know if there's even stockings in there. I'm gonna have a look in this box and see what exactly is inside here. There's some more. There's another one that someone did. Extra pieces. This one looks like it has not been done. It's five dollars and it's still sealed. Made in USA. I don't see a date on this one. Made in Japan. Why does it say made in Japan? Oh, just that piece is made in Japan. That's for a pillow. So, I'll grab that one too. Oh, that's just some pieces of jean material. Look like they've been opened, so I don't know for sure if they would have all the pieces. Stitchables. inside this box and see exactly what's inside. So this is actually all this stuff to make the stockings. So I think I'm going to leave this one behind just because I don't know if it's all in there or not. So I think I'll leave that one. a cute little plastic West Clocks. This battery operated, made in USA. I don't know if it works, but for two dollars we'll take a chance. It's nice and light, won't be too bad to cart along with us. And I just spotted these wall plaques. They are Devonware made in Canada and they're 50 cents each. There's two of them here. They're in really nice condition. Kind of a Dutch scene, farming scene. So I'm going to pick these up. So my total was $20.85.
and Wendell threw in a CD and a can opener as well. So I got all that stuff for about $20. Unbelievable. And we are on our way now to uh, Kindersley. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up in the next video. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Did I scare you? You weren't expecting me, hey?